Okay, so what's going on everyone welcome to another video and in this video what I want to go over is a video going on to the whole crossover going on to Batwoman going on to a few details basically and onto a tiny bit of legends so I guess all of that being said before we do get into the video it would be greatly appreciated if you did leave a like of the video and comment down below if you do have a video request a question or anything like that in general if you are a subscriber and returning to this video that's greatly appreciated and if you're new you can also subscribe to get daily videos on the flash the Arrowverse, MCU, Star Wars, a lot of stuff like that. So I guess all of that being said, let's get into the video and I hope you do enjoy the video. So let's get right into it. So obviously what I want to go over in the video is a few details, going on to a few things. I'm going to probably start it off with Legends explaining a tiny bit because I've probably already done a video on this explaining a tiny bit of it, a tiny bit of the Legends kind of detailed and a bit of stuff at the end of the video. And I'm assuming people watching this video haven't seen the other video. So I'm going to really quickly try and break it down. Basically, it's confirmed. Another small part is that Rip Hunter is not going to be appearing for the fourth season of Legends of Tomorrow, which is a great surprise to, I guess, a few people. But honestly, I don't really care that much. I didn't really like him as a character that much. Obviously, he's a cool character, I guess, but I just didn't enjoy him personally, like, throughout the last few seasons. Any season past season one just wasn't that great to me. And also, Legends of Tomorrow isn't going to be appearing in the Fortnite crossover. Now, I do believe this is going to be because Batwoman is going to be showing up. And another massive part I believe with it is just because of how much money it's going to cost CGI wise. Because I'm pretty sure that Legends of Tomorrow cost the most CGI wise by a good lot. And I know the Flash earns the most money and has the, like the highest ratings and everything. But Legends is a great show obviously but it's obviously not pulling in as much money as it. But they're like I'm pretty sure like pulling in 1.3 million views or like ratings live or something. Basically they would really con... Well, basically consistent ratings they never went up never went down that much it was always basically at the same but then going on to the whole batwoman side of things and kind of breaking down a few things now this is kind of old news which i'm kind of getting around to i'm not too sure if there was a trailer or any details that i might be missing out on i'll do another video on that if there is basically for the whole batwoman stuff next year 2019 they have confirmed that they're going to be getting a batwoman show kind of i'm pretty sure it's going to be based in gotham which is going to be really great to see it. It's going to be great to see Batwoman kind of appear. It's going to be great to see everything along the lines of that. But another problem is this can maybe confirm that this is the last season for Arrow. Now, if it is, I haven't seen like the second half of Arrow season six. Oddly enough, I am probably going to watch that later. Actually, the only problem with this is this could kind of confirm or even low key hint at Arrow being cancelled, which I really hope they don't. I really don't want to see Arrow go so soon, even though it's been seven seasons. Now, the only problem I do have is I feel like they're kind of not really rushing with ending off Arrow, but I feel they're kind of pulling their arm a bit because Arrow is a great show. I feel like it is just amazing. I'm pretty sure it has in like it pulls in the second highest ratings. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but it's just a great show in general. I love watching it. I loved watching a bit of season six anyway, but and then going back onto it, it's kind of confirmed that Batwoman is going to be having a few appearances throughout the whole season or throughout the whole season five of The Flash, season seven of Arrow, basically this season that's coming up. Now, the only problem I kind of have or only thing going on to it, which it could be, it said a few episodes. So could she be appearing in Arrow or could she be appearing on The Flash? I don't believe so. But what this means, I believe it's going to be taking place during the crossover and that's what they're like kind of linking everything together which would obviously make a lot of sense to kind of basically trying to confirm or trying to tease us with something but it's just not working out that well as it appears that she's definitely going to be in the crossover it's been confirmed for that i'm pretty sure gotham's also been confirmed for that but obviously it's going to be great to be able to see those shows and the whole arrow side of things do i believe if out of any show which show she would appear in the most out of all the shows i do believe it would be arrow just by how hardcore and how insane Arrow can get sometimes and it would make the most sense considering you know it's the closest thing we're ever going to be able to get to seeing Batman on the CW shows obviously they don't have the rights to be able to use Batman the whole Warner Bros kind of movie universe kind of messes everything up but then they, they have the flash and everything so it's kind of like what's going on there you never know it's kind of weird to see how that's going to be going on it is really strange and I wish they would explain it into more detail but you know there's nothing else really we can do about that and you know that's been pretty much it for the whole video so i guess if you did enjoy the video you can leave a like you can comment down below if you have a video request or anything 
Also, there might be some more details to go over in the next few days or next day or two. I'm not too sure if I will do a video or not. But obviously, I'll have previous videos up before that. And uh, I guess subscribe if you're new and obviously turn on post notifications if you do just so you get notified every time I do upload a video. I tend to upload at 6 a.m. UK time, which is quite early for the UK, but quite late for America. So it's kind of basically where everyone can watch the videos and everything. So I'm going to end the video off here. I hope you have a great day and everything. And uh, goodbye.